Hey Lipsters, how you doing today? So I am in the kitchen again. So I'll be whooping it up in the kitchen. Hey. Today I will be doing another Green Chef. Um, it is still the weekend, so I'm going to be cooking another easy meal. I'll be making the Swedish meatloaves. Um, I got this from my boyfriend because I know he loves all right so i am getting all my ingredients together you guys so let me grab the stuff real quick out the refrigerator get the ground beef and the meatloaf all right so let's see what we have we have the ground beef we also have the green onion a potato, some rosemary seasoning, sour cream, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna put that on my food, some more sour cream, garlic, okay, they put garlic in this bag, I mean, it was missing out the last one, some flour, we got some cranberries, some mushroom broth, Wow, they gave us a lot of stuff in this bag. This potato you receive is conventional. You have to let me know what that means. <laughs> All right. So let's get things started here. All right, so I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I am going to peel the russet potato if I desire. You know what? I am going to keep the skin on, but I am going to wash it with soap and water. I don't know, how y'all clean y'all vegetables? Do y'all use like a certain vegetable or fruit wash? Because I just use regular soap and water. Okay, <laughs> so I cleaned the potato. <laughs> Got my red plate. going to slice the potato, or well, dice it, I should say. Ooh. I don't know, I like my potatoes with the skin on. What about you guys? Do you eat yours with the skin on there? Yeah? Let me know in the comments how you like your potatoes. I wish these were sweet potatoes. That would taste really good. Of the sweet potatoes. It's a pretty big potato, so I'm gonna cut a little bit smaller. I don't wanna be choking on no potatoes. Ooh. This is why I usually do this after it's cooked, but I'm trying to follow directions. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm almost finished with the potatoes. Okay, so it wants me to put that in a large pot. Now that's a big old pot for just one potato. I'm gonna use a smaller pot. Where's the salt though? <laughs> they can't have the salt in there. So I don't really season with salt. So I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? I'm going to use, dang, I ain't even, uh, I'm gonna use some adobo. Yeah. Cause um, I, I really don't use salt y'all. I really don't. So let's get that going. Now we are going to slice 
The scallions. Oh, these are scallions. These aren't green onions. What's the difference? Is there a difference between scallions and um, green onions? <laughs> Y'all let me know. I should know this. Going to college for this stuff, I should know this. thinly slice it so all right and it says discard the root at the end yeah that's kind of the tough part so I'm going to thinly slice I really think this is a green onion y'all like is there really a difference between green onions and scallions <laughs> please please help a sister out because I don't know I am jamming on this nice Sunday afternoon. Hey, hey. All right, y'all, I am not the best chopper, but I try. Yeah. All right, these are looking a little beat up, but hey, I know it's just gonna add flavor, so. I don't care how it looks. At least it tastes good. You know how sometimes you go to those restaurants, the dishes look amazing, the presentation's there, but the food is not good. Yeah. My food be looking jacked up, but I feel like it tastes good. All right, so I got that. And then it says mince the garlic. They added the garlic in this one. Like how do you add the garlic to one of the packs, but not the other one? Like. If you guys watched my last um, cooking video on the um, buttery lemon garlic shrimp pasta, they called for garlic. Ain't no garlic in there. Like, what's up with that? All right, so I'm gonna put up this garlic a little bit thin because there is only two cloves here. I usually like my garlic thick, but since there's only a little bit, um, I'm going to cut that up, get rid of the roots here. I wash my hands, wash my hands. I think that's Jameson outside. I could hear him from a mile away in that car. All right, cut tops off of carrots and peel. Slice across at an angle into rounds, a half an inch thick. Oh, so they're very clear in these instructions, but that last recipe, I was like, what, what y'all want? So I'm gonna get another plate to cut this one up on. Hey, hey. And I like my red dishes. This is a lot of carrots, y'all. Okay. So, first I'm gonna cut off the ends. Or knife. Like, could y'all drop some um, good names for um, knives? Because I need some sharper knives. I need some sharper knives. So I'm gonna, like, what does it tell me to do? S peel. Oh, I have, a, I have a grate or a cheese or whatever this thing is called. Don't I? I have one. Oh, I do have one. Hey, what are these things called? The um, peel pillar. I don't know. All right, do that, and it comes off like this. <laughs> okay. Yay! This is so much fun. All right, so I'll just go like this so you guys can see. 
be getting that top layer of skin off. Oh my gosh, you scared me. <laughs> I heard you coming in. You must have had that music bumping loud because I heard you. You like my, my music? You want to say hey? <laughs> Come and say hey. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. J Rod Reviews. Tell them a little bit about your channel. That's awesome. What do you review? Cars, trucks. You looking for something in Tallahassee? Let me know. I'll go and review it for you just in case you don't feel like going by there. <laughs> I'm going to give it two thumbs up. I'm going to give it four thumbs down. Please like, share. Oh! Uh, yeah, we got a malfunction in the kitchen. No, we don't. Uh -uh. Anyway, here goes the merch. Oh, yeah. I, you know. I still need a shirt. Well, I got to get with my vendor, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. They rock reviews, man, right here in Tallahassee. Wait, man. you got you to do your, uh, your, your call. Jay Rock. <laughs> Gone. Let me get back. Hey, y'all subscribe to her channel too. By yeah. the way, B T W. By the way, oh, I was please like, subscribe. What? Is that my channel name? <laughs> no, it's not. All right, I got my carrots. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nah. Well, you want to help out? Nope. <laughs> hey. Oh, I got that pineapple for tomorrow. I don't know how to help out. You could cut the uh, carrots. Go to get this. Go oh, here. sure. Yeah. It's in my trunk. Right there. Oh. All right. So I am going to slice them at an angle. Oh, I haven't been doing that. Oops. Okay. Huh. I, I really need some sharper knives, y'all, because. <laughs> Where did you find those? <laughs> Look, I thought you were over here about to give me a kiss. And he having a little stuffed animals kiss me. I'm just dropping the carrots on the floor. Oh no. Wash the hands. Alright, I think the potatoes are looking good. Alright. That's what was boiling over. <laughs> okay. So I'm not good at slicing them. <laughs> like uh, Okay, that was a pretty good one. What mm, I'm gonna eat it. Oh wow. They are good. Oh my goodness. Okay. I feel like James would have did a much better job at this than me because you need some muscle for that. I only got little muscles. Little ones. Okay. Well, yeah, I got one more left. <laughs> but I'm doing pretty good. Oh, this is a workout for real. And some people are chefs that do this all the time. Y'all, y'all should be getting paid a lot. So tell me how your weekends have been. What did you guys do? I had a pretty busy weekend. So just let me know, you know, what you did. Maybe I could check it out, see what it's about. You like them? Aren't they nice? Yeah, now I gotta find Oh. Oh, yeah, you see that bar right there? Okay. Yeah, lift that up. Uh huh. All right, so I got the carrots chopped up. Right there, you see the little, you got a, um, and now I'm going to place the dried cranberries in a bowl. Why was I about to say a frozen bowl? A red bowl. And then I'm going to cover with about a half a cup of water and let soak for five minutes. <laughs> What's so funny? All right, so 
so I got some, um, well, I went dumpster diving. Well, it was outside the dumpster, but I found these new tables to go outside on my patio. Thank you, James. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to let that soak for about five minutes. And then... All right, so now I'm running out of room here. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the ground beef in half of a garlic in a mixing bowl. And then, okay, all right. What you doing over there? You all right? Nope. You need help? Yep. What, what are you, oh, I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> I really don't know what's wrong with that. Did you break it? <laughs> okay, so I am going to be lining my baking tray with some aluminum foil for easy cleanup. I'm probably gonna spray it. <laughs> you wanna help me? I'll be spraying with some avocado oil. You got your video uploaded? All right, y'all go check out J. Rod Reviews' new video today. What's it called? Huh? What's it called? New one? Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> well, I'll leave it in the descriptions while he figures yeah. out his name. So, I got that going. And I need another bowl to mix this stuff up. Oh, it's so nice to be short. All right. So, we found the name. All right. So, I got the ground beef. I haven't cooked ground beef in a minute. I usually cook ground turkey. This is all for you, Jameson. Because it was up to me. It'll be ground turkey. All right, so ground beef, put that in the bowl. All right, and this is one of my few bowls that is not red. Okay. So I got that in the bowl. Blood, blood. There's some more in there. I like ground beef or ground turkey better. Ground lamb is pretty good. I like that. I was asking if you found the name of your video. Yeah. All right, half the garlic. So I'm gonna put half of the garlic in there. So, it's only a little bit, so I'll put half the garlic, half the garlic in there. All right. And then the rosemary, sage, and basil blend. Oh, I almost bought a basil plant today. I went to this networking event and they just had this random basil plant out there. And I was like, is this basil? <laughs> yeah, I already got like 15, 16 plants. Oh, I need one more. I need to water all that. Me. Okay, and then some salt. Like, y'all don't put salt up in here? I now gotta use something else. So I guess I'll use this nature seasoning. Cause, um, I don't have any salt. Maybe I'll use some onion salt. There's salt in there. Okay, I think that's enough. And I am going to mix that together. And 
then I'm going to make these into two rows about one inch thick. Like, does it already come with um, like oatmeal and breadcrumbs already in it? Huh. All right, so they want me to bake this. Okay. So I'm mixing that all together. So there it is mixed. And then I'm going to put that on my baking tray, make little balls, two balls. And um, like, all right, okay. They don't look pretty, but they will taste pretty. All right, this one is much bigger than the first one. bit more circular. I'm going to flatten them out because I don't want them to take too long to cook, you know? Alright. There's my two bowls. Stick that in the 400 degree oven. Oh, 